Hey guys, Mark McKillar with Live Anabolic, and today I have a really killer 10 minute HIT workout. And the reason I have this picture up is because about four years ago, the three of us did a really, really tough HIT workout. Matter of fact, we did several HIT workouts outside. It was about 100 degree weather, super high humidity. It took us about two hours of filming, and it absolutely destroyed me. Matter of fact, I realized after doing that with Austin Sullivan, who is the Marine in this picture, all right? And then me and another young buddy of mine who's in his 20s, the two of us over here realized that we weren't in very good cardio shape because this guy kicked our ass. Anyway, this is only 10 minutes. We spent a long time out there shooting that day getting dehydrated, but it was really fun. And these HIT workouts, guys, these, this is a really big trend. You have a ton of professionals in, in the fitness industry, and not just for people like you and me trying to get in shape. You have a ton of professionals in police forces and military forces that are starting to do far more HIIT workouts than they do cardio, okay? And there's a lot of different reasons for it. So let me just, let's, let's cover the reasons real quick before I start talking about the workout. All right, guys, so I'm sure all of you probably know by now, HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. And you don't have to do long, boring cardio, all right? I, you've heard me say that a hundred times. And um, we really get more out of this style workout, okay? And, and, and not just because it's really condensed and super intense, okay? It's gonna really get your heart rate up much higher than doing kind of steady state cardio, but you get other benefits, something called the EPOC effect, which means once we're done with the workout and once our heart rate goes back down to our normal resting rate, we're still gonna be burning more calories for hours and hours and hours after our workout's done. That's, that's called the afterburn effect. It, it's the same thing as the EPOC effect. So guys, I got 10 exercises, okay, for you today, and I'm gonna put them up on the screen. Matter of fact, I have to have a cheat sheet. I can't remember the order, okay? But I'm actually gonna do all the exercises, and you're gonna follow along. Now, when I'm doing them, I'm not gonna be able to talk, okay? I'm gonna be too out of breath, because when I'm talking, I can't inhale, okay? So, you're gonna follow along all 10 exercises, and let me tell you how we're gonna do them. We got three different methods. We got beginner level, intermediate level, and advanced level. So for all you beginners, I want you to do each exercise as hard as you can for 20 seconds, and then rest for the remaining of the minute, for the next 40 seconds. Then you, then you go on to the second exercise. Do it for 20 seconds, rest for 40 seconds, go to exercise number three, and on and on and on. So that's beginners. Intermediate, that's what I'm gonna be doing. It's gonna be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest. So every exercise, go all out for 30 seconds, then stop, catch your breath for 30 seconds before you move on to the next exercise. And for you advanced guys out there, and guys, I would say I'm definitely not in the advanced category when it comes to cardio, okay? When it comes to weightlifting, I'm in the advanced group. But when it comes to cardio, I'm not advanced. So for you advanced guys that really have got fantastic cardio conditioning, try going 35 to 40 seconds on with only 25 to 20 seconds rest. That's really killer, okay? So let me just read the 10 exercises real quick, okay? And then you guys can watch me do them. All of these exercises, I think, are pretty much things you've seen and done before. Body weight only, no weights, no bands, no nothing. So you can do this when you're traveling in a hotel room if you really want to. So exercise number one is gonna be something called a seal jack, similar to a jumping jack. Exercise number two, push-ups. Everybody knows how to do that. Then we're gonna do alternating lunges, all right? Then we're gonna get on our back, we're gonna do leg raises, okay? Jump back up, we're gonna run in place, all right? That's exercise number five. Exercise number six is just a static plank on our elbows, okay? 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for me because I'm doing the intermediate version. Then we gotta, while you're down there, we're gonna do mountain climbers. That's exercise number seven. Exercise number eight, close stance squat. So with your feet real close together, we're just gonna do body weight squats with your feet close together, all right? Then we're gonna move on to plank shoulder taps 
And then the last exercise, you guys are gonna kill me, burpees. Yep, the dreaded burpees made it into this HIIT workout. All right. <laughs> so, guys, follow along, okay? We're, we're gonna put a graph up, up on the screen with the, with the list of all 10 different exercises, okay? And then we're also gonna put on the screen the three different levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So you beginner guys, all you need is your cell phone, okay? Guys, all you need is this. I love using my cell phone. So just get to the stopwatch setting. Everybody's got it. I'm just gonna hit start, and then for the rest of the HIIT workout, I'm just gonna look at this. So I'm gonna be doing the exercise as I watch for 30 seconds, and then when it hits to the 30 second mark on each minute, I'm gonna stop, catch my breath, and wait for that timer to get to the top of the next minute, and then I'm gonna move on to the next exercise. So I got a whiteboard with a list of all my exercises. I'm gonna hit this, I'm gonna start it, I'm just gonna put it down on the ground and follow along. It's that easy, guys. All right, this is gonna be no fun for me, but guys, this is something you can do two or three times a week if you want to. Matter of fact, especially on your off days, like Saturdays and Sundays, if you're not working out, this is a perfect workout to do. And for you guys that are super high achievers and really wanna push yourself and basically turbocharge your fat loss, you can do these in addition to your regular Fit After 50 scheduled workouts, okay? So they're not mutually exclusive. You can do the Fit After 50 program and then do this. I would recommend doing Fit After 50 first because a high intensity training, even though it's just 10 minutes long, is liable to get you so exhausted and so full of lactic acid that it really might make it difficult to do the Fit After 50 program, even if you waited for you know 10 or 15 minutes, all right? So here we go, guys. I'm just gonna hit the start button. I'm gonna put it down the ground and then follow along. All right, here we go. First one is seal jacks. Seems kind of easy right now, but I promise it's gonna add up. All right, so I got 30 seconds to kill here before I move on to exercise number two, which is push-ups. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on the phone down here on the floor. It's just counting up the stopwatch. All right, 30 seconds. Catch my breath. Lunges come next. Give myself a little room here. All right, 55. Once it gets to two minutes, I'm ready to go. Here we go. Two minutes, 30 seconds in. Got half a minute to catch my breath here. I'm gonna put this where I can see it. Because the next exercise is leg raises. And I 
here we go. 30 seconds of leg raises. is next but still got another 20 seconds I think this one's gonna get me really out of breath how are you feeling at this time I'm doing okay I think I might have been able to do the advanced instead of the intermediate 57 58 9 60 running place gonna get me all right next one just a static plank that should be good I don't think that'll get me so out of breath let me continue to recover here we go Climber. I actually like mountain climbers. I don't know why they've never really bothered me. I know some people have a hard time with them. They actually feel good to me. Great. Your, your, your thing just went off. Here we go. All right, here we go. 56, we said. Nine. All right, mountain climber. that rest. Here we go. Alright, so another 20 seconds. Ooh, number eight. Squats with a close stance. Shoulder taps coming up.
last exercise coming up. I got about 20 more seconds. Then I gotta do burpees for half a minute. Ooh. All right, let's see. Was perfect. I think if I had tried to do the advance, I would have been gassed on about exercise number seven. <laughs> Wouldn't have worked. So guys, if you're not really sure what kind of cardio whew, conditioning you're in, start with a beginner level. And remember, it's a double whammy when you're changing the amount of time you're doing the exercise versus the amount of time you're resting. You just, because for each additional second you add to the exercise part, you subtract a second of rest. So, so little tweaks, five seconds plus or minus, really make a big difference. So, so, guys, all right, you saw me do this 10 minutes. I'm done, all right? So, another thing, before you get into these things, we didn't film it, but I was stretching and doing some real light warm up, okay? Just to kind of get the muscles going and to make sure I didn't hurt anything while I was going through this workout. And guys, for you all that want a more structured, week by week, month by month style workout system, I highly recommend you check out a program that I created called Fit After 50. And I do make use of HIT style workouts throughout the program, but it's not the program. I just use them sparingly. So the program has three phases and each phase is distinctly different from each other. And I designed it for guys basically over 50, but a lot of guys in their 40s are doing it too, who are really looking for a place to start, okay? You do everything at home. I filmed everything right here in my den. You need nothing except a pair of dumbbells and some resistance bands. So it's a really fun program. We've literally had tens of thousands of guys buy it and use it and just be ecstatic. I get some wonderful emails, I get some wonderful posts into our Facebook group, and it's just fantastic seeing people lose 20, 30, 70 pounds. And I'm talking about guys in their 60s and 70s are doing this. So guys, check it out, it's on our website. It's a real, real easy way to get back into a healthy lifestyle, guys. And remember, you didn't get out of shape overnight, which means I want you to always stick with it and never give up on yourself.